today we f definitely find ourselves uh, at a definite turning point, both politically and um, metaphorically for our future-wise. We, uh, we definitely got some problems we've got to address, right, as a nation. And uh, so, since I'm a citizen, well, I suppose my stand should also be accepted by the public and should be viewed as well. So, with my thoughts and ideals here, I, w I consider that uh, this whole democratic uh, union type of thing that is working on here, it's, it's not really, it's not really benefiting anything. Really. At, as, as the moment, moment we speak, each moment, you know, we're spending more and more money still. And somehow, you know, yes, prices keep going up, down, all around. You know, you never know with anything that is tax prices coming up every so often, even on cigarettes, cigars, everything. You know, and it's all inflation. You gotta inflate everything so much as if the whole American, you know, the, the actual citizen isn't necessarily the ones that are rich. That's actually a very small portion of uh, the United States people, you know, as being from Wisconsin here. Well, I'm not a rich family. I, I just am here in existence trying to make a living and while trying to make a living here there's uh, there's dead ends that I'm coming at here with this um, I mean even being as you know uh, juvenile I was found guilty of a felony well you see this this thing was just so dramatic man it's like the other two people who were with me both got misdemeanors, and it's for me who gets the felony. I just find that some of these judicial ways aren't exactly kosher, you know. In my view, since I've been there, I've, I've experienced having to go through this system. And, um, and so here we are still, and coming down to it, it really does come to with, with uh, the drug use of today's era. I mean, in any city or state or town, you will find pills, you will find marijuana, you will find grass, mushrooms, you'll find everything. You know, you no matter what, it's inevitable. You can't avoid it anymore. It's not something that is hidden from the public anymore because it's becoming something of a popular thing that has, for some reason, radicalized um, in the young people's mind here. That it's uh, it's about time that they just, you know, free fall and raise hell and do all the drugs that they want. But see, here, all these drugs that have been created and the, the research chemicals that have been used, we still don't know fully very well what they can do or what that they have already done to somebody's psychological point of view or uh, perspective, so to speak. Um, you never know when it, it, it comes out to be with, like, even with the acid generation. It came out to be how many burnouts from that generation that even in the 70s people still used acid and then people more even got burned out. And you got to really realize sometimes that, you know, tripping's not always a thing and that it's, it's not always, you know, an everyday thing where... A lot of people, for some reason, in this day and age, think that it's all right to trip every day. When it's very well not. I mean, I, I can say look up think videos about Sid Barrett, and we should very well know about him with the LSD use, and that it, uh, it took over his mind, made him a mad madman, uh, madcap laughs he creates, and you know, and just you know, you know, he's just already, you know, he got kicked out of Pink Floyd, and well, that's that. And anyway. I guess what I'm really trying to say is that with the people who are out there abusing using drugs, there's a difference between drugs and psychedelics. And it, I mean, people always think, oh, well, maybe it's just one drug, like Oxycontin, this and that. Oxycontin is completely different than a uh, hallucinogen, you know. And, and um, from a hallucinogenic point of view, as, you know, uh, a protester, you know, as a person who I find myself affiliated with uh, psychedelics that um, 
these doses that it takes to even kill somebody, it's, it's out there, you know what I mean? It's acid, it takes thousands of doses, and, you know, and then you got people who are doing heroin that's you know, an overdose and every couple of times, and it's just not worth it. This is the way that I think, and then, you know, I guess maybe that's the way that I've found myself spiritually or uh, recognized myself in any type of aspect like that would be with hallucinogens, but I, uh, in any rate, it's, it's a drug, and then it will do some weird things to you. So that's what I have to say about that, and my ideals on, uh, on people who use drugs, it's their own business. It really is. I mean, if, if it comes down to it, cop pulls you over because you have an out headlight and you got a bunch of drugs on you, dude, fucking got busted, dude. You know what I mean? But you can still, I mean, somebody else, you know, who's using drugs and has got their life on track still, though, and can do the things that they can do and work and hold a job and maintain those things. You know, those are the people that are more looked up to and respected in the community because, I, w I would say, you know, because it's, you know, that they can handle it and that their their mind in in their mind in their mindset at the time that they they know what they have to accomplish in life. So if, if you don't know what you want to accomplish in life, don't start off by taking a bunch of hallucinogens or a bunch of drugs to f try and figure out what you want in life. Because that's not going to be the answer. That's not going to work it out. You need to sit down and think about it and sit down and really analyze your life as a person, as a whole of what you want in the future based on recognizing what you've done in the past. And, um, I suppose that's just about it for this spiel, you know, but anyway, my, my main point is, is that today we, in the American society that we have, um, I would really encourage people to look more, um, seriously upon the use of, uh, of these drugs where people are using them daily basis and at schools and at, uh, at other places and what you, you know I've, I've seen, already seen it it's all over the place you know and um, just don't take it lightly it's you know some sometimes be wary of what you're getting from who you're getting it from and you know you never know if it might be a mislabeled bag of this or that and you end up redosing with a DOI from and you thought it was acid you know and you did like 13 doses of DOI to like Things like that have happened from people, you know, not being educated enough to be able to know the difference or look up the chemical structure name. And um, at, at that point, I guess I'm going to stop here. I'm just, just blowing out words. No, it's just, it just is what it is. Nothing more nor less. That's the way I think of it as.